Breaking right now at 11, shock and heartbreak in Ventura County as we begin, to get, we begin to get a look at the immense destruction caused by the mountain fire. More than 20,000 acres burned, more than 130 structures destroyed, and the danger is far from over. The fire fueled by strong Santa Ana winds, and tonight we're learning of another Santa Ana wind event on the horizon. Our live team coverage tonight kicks off with Eyewitness News reporter Amy Powell live in Camarillo talking to some heartbroken neighbors who no longer have a home to return to. Amy. Well, that's right, Mark, and we also want to tell you we can feel the winds picking up again right now. That's certainly a concern as firefighters work to stop the spread of this blaze. But as you said, teams are out inspecting the damage, and we already know that dozens of homes are total losses. SoCal gas crews carefully pick through the charred rubble of homes burned by the mountain fire, concerned about the danger of open gas lines. The Ventura County Fire Department says at least 132 structures, mostly houses, were destroyed by the blaze that tore through more than 20,000 acres, whipped by ferocious Santa Ana winds. It's just my childhood home, and mm -hmm. it's just a lot right now. Brianna Sinker breaking down in tears when she returned to find there was nothing left of the home she grew up in. It's just hard that it's one of the only houses too on the street that's just completely destroyed. Firefighters continue to battle the massive wildfire that injured 10 people and forced thousands of evacuations. Authorities say they don't know when they'll be able to return to the area, but some residents already know they no longer have a home. Luis Perez, his wife Reina, and two of their children, among many residents forced to flee this mobile home park in Somis when the fast-moving fire started approaching their house. Everything lost, everything gone, all my memories, all my life was there for 28 years there. So I don't know what happened now. It's like a nightmare. I think. I wake up this morning and say, oh, maybe it's a nightmare. So, no, it's not a nightmare. The air and ground attack aimed at stopping the spread of the blaze continues with firefighters from L.A. and Orange counties joining Ventura County crews. We had many firefighters that they, they were out on the line until this evening. They fought fire for 36 straight hours, um, which is a that's a that's a feat of human strength. And it, it is it's dangerous, it's damaging, and it shows their commitment. I want to thank them. And those firefighters are still hard at work. This blaze is only about 5% contained. Uh, Governor Newsom has announced the approval of a federal grant to support the firefighting response. 